Okay, there's my audience. What is the definition of fat? Fat refers to the billions of fat cells in the body. There are 40 billion fat cells in an average adult. So what is the definition of overweight? Overweight refers to an excess of body weight compared to set standards, and the term obesity refers specifically to having an abnormally high proportion of body fat. Society has taught us that being overweight is abnormal, but being overweight is on its way to being normal because more than one-third of adults in the United States are overweight. Change is obviously needed in America. Since 1980, the amount of overweight people in the United States has doubled. So why should anyone care? As people become larger, their risk of early death grows larger too. Clogged arteries and sedentary lifestyles have replaced germs as the world's leading killers. Hunger once held much of the world in its grip. The 1.6 billion overweight and obese now outnumber the malnourished by nearly 2 to 1. In 1900, pneumonia, tuberculosis, and childhood diarrhea were the leading killers of Americans. They were replaced with non-infectious diseases such as heart attacks, strokes, and cancer. Ob obesity accounts for at least $150 billion a year in American health care spending. What is worse is that predictions say that the rise in obesity rates among children and teens could knock off as many as five years from today's average of 77 years as overweight people in that generation grow up and die prematurely. Heart disease and stroke occur when blood flow is not functioning normally. Often the arteries have become narrowed and hardened. Heart diseases are linked to being overweight because being overweight causes high blood pressure and high levels of blood fats. Also, excess body fat may produce substances that cause inflammation. Inflammation in blood vessels and throughout the body may raise heart disease. Many people may believe that heart problems and other diseases will not affect them, but being overweight can tremendously shorten a person's life. The obesity epidemic is a problem whether people believe it or not and it needs to be taken care of. People may wonder when the right time to be concerned about their child's weight is. Under the age of two, parents do not really need to worry much about treating obesity. At the age of three and above is when parents need to start taking action and teaching their children the right way to eat. If a child is overweight, the parents need to discuss weight issues with their child in a positive way. Even if you're not overweight or even close to being overweight, it would still be a good thing for you to watch what you eat. Maybe you have a high metabolism and don't need to worry much about your diet. But if you eat a lot of fast food and unhealthy food, you can really hurt your body. Even if you aren't gaining weight, you can still be developing diseases. All people, overweight or average, should make sure they're taking care of themselves and eating food that will not harm their bodies in the long run. So what are the ways to becoming healthier, and how do you know what will be good for you? The most effective way would be to talk to your doctor or physician. They can decide on the best ways to approach your health. Other main steps a person can take to becoming healthier would first do, be to think positive and want to be healthy. If you do not want to live a healthier life, then you simply will not try to. Next, everyone knows that they need to eat their vegetables, but do you know that you should eat about five servings of vegetables a day? A diet high in vegetables is associated with less risk of developing cancer. Of course, you need to exercise daily. Exercising can not only help your appearance, but also can improve eyesight, can normalize blood pressure, and even improve bone density. There are so many different types of exercising. You can walk, run, bike, and even dance. If you're eating right and exercising, you're on the right track. But one last thing you need to do is make sure you're getting the right amount of sleep. Eating right and exercising regularly will even give you more energy. I encourage you all to start eating healthier, exercising, and taking better care of your body. You will see tremendous improvements in the way you look and even how you feel. So get up and start moving to become a better you.